Hey everyone, happy Wednesday night and welcome to our crafty session. I believe we're at number 74. I could be 73. I'm not sure. We're just having so much fun. I forget what number we're at. Welcome, welcome to my craft room, aka my happy place. I'm excited to be with you guys tonight. I am popping on just a few minutes early so Facebook can let you know that I've gone live and it gives me a chance to check my settings and make sure that I can see myself doing this video. Um, sometimes it's funny when you're doing a video and you can't see yourself. It feels weird since I'm so used to seeing myself. Uh, welcome, welcome. My name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada. And I live in Ontario and I'm excited to be with you. Thank you to all my loyal customers who join me weekly, comment and share my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I'm definitely feeling the love, so thank you, thank you. Um, please remember to like, comment, and share because I do pick a winner and send you guys some happy mail. So I sent out a bunch of happy mail a week ago, so people should be getting those happy mails in the mail. I'm excited to be with you tonight. I had a wonderful weekend. I was away in Montreal for the on stage, for Stampin' Up! on stage in Montreal, and it was amazing. It was my first time seeing my Stampin' Up! peeps in three years, and honestly, it fed my soul and let a fire under me. I'm excited. I'm cre I've am got the creative juices flowing, and I'm excited to share that all with you. I've placed my pre-order, and it should be here next week. But I'm going to hold off on a little bit because we've got some more fun Christmas stuff we have to show before we get into the, like, the January catalog. But I'm excited to share that with you in upcoming videos. Tonight, since I was away, I was like, I need something quick and easy because that is life right now. We are all so busy that we need something that's quick and easy and that we can even craft for 15 minutes or 30 minutes a day if that's all you have. Honestly, I work full time outside of this and I usually spend about a couple hours in my craft, my happy place at night. One of my favorite things is to do right now is listen to Christmas music and craft away. Honestly, it just helps me relax after a busy work day. So I'm going to flip my camera and show you what we are making tonight. Uh, we have three projects um, and I'm going to explain more as we get going. So let me flip my camera so you're going to see my beautiful window. Too bad you guys couldn't see the, uh, the um, beautiful outside, but it's like really dark here right now because, you know, it's dark by five o'clock here. So that's kind of crazy. Um, We've, I'm just adjusting my camera here. We've had to uh, adjust our nightly routine and we're it's going pretty good. So I'm excited for that. So if you're here, say hi. Let me know you're here with me. Um, I grabbed the wrong mat. Usually I have my name and stuff up here, but I grabbed the wrong mat. So tonight I wanted to share with you one of our kit collections. These are great for the beginner crafter, the everyday crafter, which I'm going to call like the casual crafter. Okay, so we're going to do call the beginner. So those are the ones who are just learning how to stamp and get into crafting. Then I'm going to say the casual crafter, those who have some supplies and maybe dip in into every twice or a couple times a week. But then there's the avid crafters, crafters who have it all and love being in their room 24-7. I also wanted to share this with you because it is Christmas, we are five weeks away, and this would make a great gift for all your crafty friends. Maybe you might wanna put one under your tree for yourself. Um, I'm excited, so I actually bought two kits because I wanted to show you what a full one looked like, and then I used the other one. So I am showing you tonight the new, well, the Cozy and Bright um, kit. So it comes in this adorable little box. And inside, you're going to get the kit, which includes all the supplies you need and um, instructions. And then it comes with a spot and it comes with an ink pad. And it actually comes with uh, a block too. So it has, which I don't even know what it is, it? what comes with a block. So it has everything you need to get started for stamping. So tonight, what I thought I would share with you is one card to show you what you can do with this kit and um, two alternatives to this card. Hey Brenda, uh, hi Christine. Yes, these kits are lately are awesome. I actually saw a new kit on, on stage and it's super exciting. Great masculine. So 
let's just show you what's inside this kit. Um, oh, oh, there's the block, see? I knew I had a block, but I hadn't opened it yet. All right, let's just do it quickly so you can see what's in here. This kit is available. I did go look. Well, as of last night, it was available, but I'm assuming it soon is. Kits are great if you go, like, crafting on the go. So maybe you're planning, like, a holiday and you want to craft. These kits are great to take with you because it stores everything in the box. So you got a stamp set. It has a bunch of different greetings. It says, celebrate the season. All is cozy and bright. May the holidays warm your heart. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. I like this one. Aren't you glad it's Christmas? Orange, get it? And Happy Christmas and Joyous New Year. New Year. And you've got a Poppy Parade ink spot. You get some linen thread. You get a clear block for your stamps. And then you get a pack of foam sheet, foam dots, or dimensionals. Plus you get all these. You get those. These are stickers, sticker die cuts. You get envelopes. Look how cute those envelopes are. Then you get some pop-out stickers, uh, sorry, pop-out die cuts. You get some banners, and then you get these gorgeous, 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 already printed card bases. So how fun are those? So what tonight I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how to make the one, the design on the kit. So also in this kit comes full colored instructions. So you have the cozy and bright, and then it gives you full instructions on how to create this kit. So we're actually gonna make the one card. And then I thought, you know what, let's show you what else you can do with this kit. I wanted to show you how you can step it up and create other kits. As I said, this kit is available. I will have all the ordering details after on my website um, and I'll post information tomorrow on my blog. Okay, so first one, once we're gonna go, has a beautiful envelope, I already shared that with you. Um, so that's really nice. Oh, my puppy is going to bark because I think my daughter's coming home, just so you know. All right, beautiful card base. You wanna make sure you use a bone folder so you can uh, just you know smooth that out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these die cut stickers and you're going to put it down here. Then you're going to take one of these orange die cuts and you're going to pop it up right here. So just peeling off the dimensionals. You do get dimensionals in your kit. Like I said, you have everything you need for this kit. So you literally could take this kit with you while you go traveling. Um, you could take it to work if you had some time on your lunch. You could take it to a cafe and just enjoy some Christmas music and create. How fun would that be? All right, we're going to adhere this down. So I'm actually going to put a pop-up dot or a dimensional here. And I'm going to grab my tape. So the only thing you would want is adhesive. So, I mean, other than that, oh, they do have glue dots. Um, but I prefer my adhesive. So I'm going to put that there. Then we're going to use these little die cut stickers and we're going to put one here. And we're going to put one. Oh, I'm actually going to leave that one for a minute because I want to do my banner. I'm going to bring in just a grid sheet here so I don't get it. So these are the die cut banners. They're already in the kit. All you have to do is stamp them up. I'm actually going to use my big full ink pad. Uh, because I do like to save the spots for um, other things. And I just need to grab my other kit that has the one that I opened. Alright, so let me just see here. And we're going to, I'm going to do May the holidays warm. Actually, I'm going to do warm your. Merry Christmas, because I have different greetings on the different sets. Okay, hello, hello to everyone who has joined. So I'm going to say wishing you a Merry Christmas. I'm stamping it in Poppy Parade. And I'm just going to stamp down and stamp up. There you go. Easy peasy, quick and easy. Let's close that up so I don't stick my finger in it. And I'm just going to move that off to the side. I'm going to bring this back in, and what I'm going to 
to do is actually going to pop it up. I love adding dimension to my cards. And this card is so beautiful that when you give it to somebody, they're going to feel extra special, A, because they receive some happy mail in the mail and not bills. Um, and they're probably going to be so proud of it that they're going to stick it on their mantle or maybe on their desk at work. Either way, I think your people are going to love it. And you wouldn't find one of these cards in one of a department store. You're going to know it's handmade because you've made it with love. All right, so I just put the other die cut sticker down. And we're going to just make a little linen thread here. But I'm actually just using the... Um, I have a roll, a roll of linen thread already, so that's what I'm using. I don't want to... I kind of like to save some of those little things and then use them when I'm traveling or something. All right, so I am going to pull this out and I'm actually going to stick my ribbon right there. Actually, leave this up. All right, so there is our first card um, and matching envelope that goes with the cozy and bright kit. This kit actually makes, I didn't tell you guys that, but I believe it makes, let's see. Uh, where's my instructions? You make 12 cards, 12 cards and 12 envelopes, and the coordinating colors are Casey Craze, Early Espresso, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Poppy Parade, and Pumpkin Pie. So it shows you right there all the coordinating colors. So let's move. I'm going to put this one away. So this is the original card that you can make in the kit. So you can make 12 of these and your Christmas cards are done. Quick and simple. You Literally all you have to do is stamp and assemble. These kits are amazing. All right, so I'm going to put this aside and we're going to bring in our second project, which is kind of like... Um, kind of stepped it up a little bit and the reason why I wanted to I was show I wanted to show you some alternatives because sometimes when we buy our kits we want to give some maybe especially people who are casual and avid crafters they like to step their projects up so I wanted to show you different ways you can use this project this die is currently on sale for 20% off it's one of my favorite dies I've been waiting forever to get it and it finally was able to get it um, but sadly, because of the 20% sale, it's now back on un unorderable. But I wanted to show you because in case you wanted to purchase it down the road and watch for it. It's called the Split Card Texture Die. Dies. So and let's show you what we're going to do. So for this one, once again, I'm using the beautiful envelope. I'm actually just going to put my card off to the side. I am going to use one of our basic white uh card bases. Um, sometimes I use thick white, but I actually had a whole bunch of these already cut, so I was like, no, I'm not going to waste paper. We are going to use, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this card in half. I know, I know. You're like, what are you doing, Anne? And I'm going to measure to a standard card front, which is four by five and a quarter. Just like that. And I'm going to move this off to the side and put that over there because I have to use it later. All right, so now we have our die that looks like this. And we can use this for something else. So we're just going to set that aside. I'm going to move over my pieces. And I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut emboss. This is the big boss. Um, it use, you're going to want to use it if you're using bigger dies, plus you're also going to want to use it if you're using um, thick embossing folders, which we're going to do later. All right, where did I put those dies? Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to grab the split texture die, and we're going to lay it down on our card like this. Hey, Lynn, glad you can join me. You're just kept, you're not too late. We're just starting our second card. Uh, we're going to roll it through. And I'm actually just going to roll it back again. I just want to make sure I get all those pieces. And I'm just going to set this aside. And I meant to grab something, so let me grab it. This is 
this our dye brush and mat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on here. You're going to use the take a pick, and this is the dye brush um, adapter. And you're just going to roll it over. This is also a must if you do a lot of these delicate dyes. I would highly recommend purchasing one because it helps you pick out all those little pieces. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to do it yourself and you do not want to do that. Trust me. All right, I'm going to just move this off to the side here and put that up there. So this is the split texture guy. We're using this one, but there's also this one. So this is on sale currently right now with a 20% off, but sadly it's unorderable. They ran out of it. So watch for it, it'll be back sooner than you know. Okay, uh, where's my card? So we're going to bring in our card. I'm going to grab some glue. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for joining. We're working with the, um, oh, I got too much glue here. The Cozy and Bright Collection Kit. If you're just joining, Melissa, I showed you the first card. I will do a recap at the end. The first card showed you what the kit does, and now I'm going to show you two alternatives that you could do with this kit. Um, so I'm just doing like little dabs here and there. Um, I hope you've had all had a great day. It's snowy here. It makes me think of get you more festive into the Christmas season. So I thought, why not do some of these fun kits? Because they're great kits. All right. So we just put that down. So it looks like that. I'm going to put my glue back over here. Okay, so now what I want to show you, yes, it is still available, Melissa. As of last night, I checked last night and it was still available. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, remember how we uh, cut this in half? This was a card base, we cut it in half. Um, so it was one of these. And I cut it in half, so I used this half for this. And then what I did was we have this piece. We're going to save that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and quickly just fussy cut these out. Just throw my pieces here in the... So with this kit, it's called the Cozy and Bright. It makes 10, uh, sorry, 12 cards. You get 12 card bases and 12 envelopes. I should have looked up the price. Um, and then you could create 12 of the same card. But So when I actually like this, I'll probably save it for something else. Save all those little pieces. You never know when you need it. I learned that from my good friend, Brenda. I've done some classes with her and she's always showing how to use little bits and pieces of things. So thanks, Brenda, for the inspiration. Can't wait to chat with you. Um... Okay, so I'm literally just going around and I'll show you what we're doing. So this is just showing you a way to think outside the box and how to use these pieces. I love that it has berries. Reminds me of a holly berry bush. Which I think I want to put one in my garden next year. I want to revamp my gardens. I have all winter to plan for them. Alright. Okay, so I kind of did that. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this down here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those blue dots. I'm oh, sorry, dimensionals. like a map, a world map of the back. <laughs> How funny is that? I can't wait to show you. I've got some fun Christmas stuff coming up. Um, and then probably mid-December or just after Christmas, we'll start switching to stuff for the new catalog and some annual stuff. All right, we're going to put that down there like that. 
Then we're going to bring in, I'm actually going to use, so this is a die cut sticker, so we're going to lay that down, and I'm actually going to pop half of it up because I want it to lay flat, but I also want it to be popped up on one side. So, just put that there like that. Then I'm going to come in with my orange. So I'm going to here this side, but I'm going to put pop up on that side. I hope you guys all stayed warm today. It was definitely a chilly day. The wind, oh my gosh, was so crazy outside today. I have a hot chocolate waiting to be made after I'm done this. Okay. Uh, let me just see. I'm trying to figure out what I did with my cards. I have to bring that over here. Okay, so we have that, and then we're going to use these little little snowflakes. I'm going to call them little snowflakes, and we're going to just I should put one in. We're going to tuck one in there here like that. So because they're adhesive, I don't necessarily have to put adhesive down, and I'm going to wait on the next one. I have one of the die cut. I'm going to call it like a cinnamon stick. It reminds me of a cinnamon stick. And we're just going to lay this flat. So um, definitely, if you were to take this kit with you on an adventure, you would definitely want it to bring some adhesive. Okay, so we have that. And we're just going to, I'm going to wait on that for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the banner. We have these white little banners. I'm going to bring in my... Um, my grid paper. So this is a grid paper you can get for the Stamparatus. Let me get my scissors out of the way. And this one I'm going to do, May it says, may your holidays warm your heart. So as I said, you have, you get uh, four, six different sayings for Christmas. So that's kind of fun. Um, that you could use on other projects. So I'm just inking it up in Poppy Parade. It does come with a Poppy Parade spot, um, but I prefer to use the bigger ink pads. Okay, so there is our greeting. Just making sure I don't see any comments coming up. All right, close my ink pad because we don't want that to get in our finger. Move that out of my way. And I'm gonna bring this back in and we're going to pop this up with dimensionals. And we're just gonna put it right there. All right, now I'm gonna bring back in this last die cut sticker. I'm going to pop it up here. I actually put my other one in a different spot, but I like it up there. And I'm going to bring in my linen thread. <clears throat> so this actually comes with the kit. Remember I said you get everything you need to create 12 cards. So if you had some co-workers you wanted to make a card kit, uh, give Christmas cards, but you're thinking, oh, I don't have time. This kit is a time saver. It will really help you. Um, be quick and easy. You can have it done in an afternoon. I am getting together with my team on Friday night. Uh, we do an event once a month called Sip and Stamp. So bring your favorite beverage and stamp your for a few hours. And our mission is while we're creating and stamping and chatting and sipping our favorite beverage, we're going to be putting some kits together or working in our room. So I'm really looking forward to that Friday night. So I'll probably work on the rest of these. All right. Uh, I believe that's it for this card. There is your second card as a step up card from what the elements you could use in the pack. Um, as I said, this is the, this is what I'll just show you. Here's the card number one, what you can make with the kit. But then here's something you could do to step it up. So a different alternative for using your card, um, your elements in your project. All right, so we're going to move on to project number three, and I will bring these back in and show you. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side and move my envelope. 
All right, so let me just move. The next card we're going to make is actually a fancy fold. I wanted to show you how you could really step it up and create a fancy fold with this. So once again, we're gonna use those envelopes. I'm gonna set that off to the side. I have cut some pieces already, so I'm gonna share those with you. And remember, I will post all these me measurements. Uh, if not tomorrow night, because I have something with my team tomorrow night, I will do it Friday. Uh, so I'm using Evening Evergreen Card Base, and my card is five and a half by ten, scored at four and a quarter and eight and a half. So we're going to go ahead and fold those. I've already scored it. So we're going to just take that bossing our uh, foam folder and really crease your projects. Okay, so we have that. Then we have a piece that's three and a half by seven, and I scored it at um, three and a half. So we're just gonna put that, so we have that piece. Ah, uh, so April, uh, Lynn says she, that was a unique card. I wouldn't think to use orange slices on a Christmas card, but it turned out beautifully. Ah, uh, thank you, I know, eh? I wouldn't have thought that either, but it was a fun, okay, so now, I have to see here what I'm doing. It was a fun way. All right, so I have a piece cut here, and this measurement is one by five and a quarter. So what I did was I took a card base and I cut it. So that is our piece right there. I have a piece of evening evergreen that is four, oh, sorry, four by five and a quarter, and we're going to emboss that. So let me just move those pieces to show you. I have a white to go on the inside, and I have all of our elements that we need for our project. So let me move uh, my pieces here off the side so we can get started on this card. All right, so I'm actually going to move these just off to the side here. I'm going to bring this because this is the one we want. So this, we're going to use the Whimsical Woodland Bossing Folder. How beautiful is that? It's in the, Jan sorry, the July to December catalog. And just so you know, the July to December catalog, all the stuff that is retiring, which is called the last chance list, will be posted on December 1st. I actually have the list and we'll be posting it a couple days before, so you have a chance to look at those products leaving us. There's some great ones. Um, so this is a thick embossing folder, so you're going to use the big cut, big stamp and cut. You're going to use plate number one. You're going to take your embossing folder, you're going to put it in, and then you're going to use the plate number four. That helps with your thick embossing folders. Um, if you would like a catalog from me from the January to June, watch for a post for that um, to sign up so I can get those mailed out to you once I've ordered them. And watch for some fun classes coming in the new year. I've got some neat ideas and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. All right, so we're going to put this embossing folder down. I'm actually just gonna open this up. So it's gonna go right here. Look how beautiful that is. Just a little soft little trees in the background. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. There you go, cute, eh? Remember, this is the piece we cut from the card base. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to secure that down. So just like that. And for the inside of the card, this is the white, we're going to use one of the orange stickers. And we're going to use one of the nice little, I don't know, the snowflakes, I'm gonna call that a snowflake. And we're going to put that on the inside of our card. So just like that. So it'll be like that. Okay, so now we're going to just set that aside. So we're going to bring this in and we're going to decorate it. So I need, oh, I thought I got that piece. Maybe I didn't. Let's call on here. I think I have a piece of white from my bin here. Okay, so we need to cut a piece that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And that's going to be white. Let me make sure that fits. 
Yeah, so that's going to go there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use this, nope, where is that piece here? Remember one of the envelopes, our card bases that we cut, we're going to use this and we're going to score it three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm actually just gonna take a little bit off the edge here because I kind of just want some of the, uh, I want that piece here, so let's just. Now, don't throw these pieces away, save them because you could use them for something else. So I have this little bin that has everything in it. Um, and let me make sure, yep, that fits. So we're going to put that away. I'm trying to clean up my space here. There we go. Okay, so I am not going to do anything here because I feel like sometimes maybe you might want to write a message. So we're going to put that right here. And then we're going to decorate this. So we can go ahead. Let me just see what I did. I'm going to put this up at the top. Uh, so we're going to put this like this. Okay, so it's going to go like that. And then we're going to, i got to bring my, my original in here so I can see it. All right, so we're going to use one of the die cut circles oranges just die cut orange circle we're going to put that down and then we're going to pop up our big orange snowflake right there. Maybe it's a cinnamon clove. That could be it. I think it's going to be a cinnamon clove because this looks like a cinnamon clove. And then we're going to bring this in. Where am I going to put this? Um, no, I don't want to see which way I want to go here. I want to go down. I will put it there. Okay, so I'm going to put a pop-up dot on this side. And we're going to put that right there. So it kind of looks like that. And I'm going to set this. Actually, we're going to go ahead and glue this down. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this part to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape right here. Then I have to make sure you're opening it. You want to make sure you're opening it to the right. Otherwise, you're not going, you're going to close your card down. And you're going to want to put it in the middle. So I just open my card flat and literally all I do is eyeball it and you should have it on there. So now it becomes like kind of like a unique fold there and then there. How fun is that? So let's finish decorating it. We're going to bring in our banner. We're going to bring in our thread paper. And we're going to bring back the Wish You a Merry Christmas one. Let me move these out of my way. So I will post the measurements for these cards. Um, obviously, if you wanted to make them the exact same as the way I did, you would need to purchase this um, cozy, and, cozy and Bright kit which is available in my online store. And I will post that link for you. Uh, if you shop with me, you get a handmade card in the mail. Plus you get it in, if it's over $50 here in Canada, you get a little thank you gift from me. And this month I'm offering the Opa Round Embellishments as my way of saying thank you for purchasing and shopping with me. Um, and then you're, yeah, and then you're in my, you know, you could be added, you're added to my VIP group and everything like that. So it's fun. I've got some fun things planned for 2023. I can't believe we're saying 2023. It's so hard to say. I can't believe it. it feels like I was just saying, oh, we're going to go into 2022. Here we are in 2023. I can't believe we're almost in November, middle of November. Like, it just seemed like yesterday we were starting November. 
November has been a busy, fun month. Uh, all right, I'm going to put this down right here. I am going to bring in one of these stickers again. Put that aside. And I'm going to put that up there. And I'm going to bring in some twine. My puppy just came into my craft room and he's looking at me like, Mama, when are you coming to lay down? Coming to sit with me. I want to cuddle with you. <sighs> All right. Let's get a glue dot for that. And then we are almost done. And I will show you the three projects that we made. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this right here. Oh, I got my finger stuck to it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it up here, I think. I have my bill going that way. All right, and there is our card for tonight, our third card. It's a fancy fold. So the unique thing about this is you're going to open it this way. You can write a message, and then when the people open it again, there's another surprise message inside. This would be a fun way to uh, even put a gift card in here. How fun would that be? But that is our third project tonight, which is a fancy fold. I'm really enjoying the fancy fold world, and I'm excited to um, show you more. And I have some fun classes planned in the new year with fancy fold. Okay, so let's bring back our three cards featuring the cozy and bright kit. So this is the first one we made using the elements from the kit and the card that you can make. So this kit, the Cozy and Bright collect, kit collection, makes 12 cards. You get 12 card bases and envelopes and all the supplies to make these. Um, this one. So then I wanted to show you how you could step that up by going to like a casual card. I'm gonna call it a casual card. So there is my stepped up version using the split textured dies. So there's that one using the same elements. The only thing I added to this was a card base. And um, that was it. Everything else was elements from the uh, kit. And then the third one is our fancy fold. So it's right here. Now we added the evening evergreen cardstock, but everything else was from the kit in the white base. That's the white cardstock. So there is your three cards featuring the cozy and bright kit as I said this kit is available so you can head to my online store and check it out I will put the link in the video um, and I will post all the measurements for these um, basically it's just the card basis and you could go order your own kit and create some of these beautiful cards for your family and friends for this holiday season how fun would that be for you to hand your boss your co-workers your mom your dads your aunts your sisters your friends one of these beautiful cards they will cherish it forever because a handmade card is like giving a hug people love them and honestly i would display that on a mantle if someone gave that to me i would display any of these cards on a mantle all right let's see does anyone have any questions on oh, it Lynn, thanks so much oh catherine thanks so much um, it's amazing what you can do with a kit and take it outside the box. I really like these cards. As I said, I will probably finish the rest of the cards on Friday night during my team stamp and sip event, a uh, Zoom event. If you would love to be a part of a creative community, we would love to have you. Um, we are the Stamp to Create team and we are a great bunch of ladies from the East Coast to the West Coast of Canada, and we would love to have you join us. Um, so please, please, if you have a long shopping list and you're thinking, you know what, I wanna be part of a creative community, please reach out, we would love to have you join us. Um, and you can join us for our fun Friday night stamp and sips. All right, does anyone have any questions for me before I sign off? I will bring back in just the kit to show you. In case you're joining late, we uh, so this was the kit we used. It's called the Cozy and Bright, and we made 
three alternative cards with it. How fun is that? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, please like, comment, and share my video. I will be posting the measurements for these cards and updating in my blog. I know my blog has been a little bit of missing in action, but it's been a busy few weeks around here. Um, things are slowly starting to slow down, so I'm excited to get back into my crafting and blogging. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your evening. I look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday night in our crafty session. Um, next week, we are going to be using the sweetest sweet candy cane, which is part of the sweetest candy cane sweet. I'm excited to share that sweet with you. I've got some fabulous cards to share with you. Um, some are from my team members. Um, we get together monthly for a team gathering and I had two team members to showcase their cards um, in a demonstration and I've asked if I can share some of those cards with you so I'll be sharing those with you next week. So make sure you tune in next Wednesday night at 730 for the sweetest candy cane bundle which is part of the sweetest candy cane sweet. Alright everyone, thanks so much for joining us tonight. If you have any questions please let me know. Make sure you tell your crafty friends to come join us on Wednesday night so we can all craft together. It's like you're sitting here in my stamp room, having fun, eating chocolate, and chit-chatting. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye.